Okay, welcome back, Coastal 25 folks. Professor Almeida here. Hope that your weekend has been good to you so far. Anyway, I want to talk about week six starting this coming Monday. Of course, you already have access to this module if you want to work ahead. By the way, uh, another reminder, please make sure that you are making the time for this class. I know it's real easy to get distracted with whatever's going on at home and everything around you. Don't forget that you have these assignments turn, to turn in and you don't want to leave easy points on the table, folks. Okay, so let's make sure that we are getting things done. If you still haven't looked at chapter four yet, make sure you get that done this weekend. I know it's Easter coming up, but uh, again, you got to make the time for this class. Don't leave everything until the last minute. All right, enough of that said. Let's take a look at week six here in canvas so it's pretty much the same formula as before we are looking at templates advanced relationships and macros okay we use macros to automate things in microsoft office so you have your training sim your guided project and your independent project one important note i want to mention and this has to do with guided project 5-1 if you take a look at the overview you can see that i've left a note here you must correctly modify the faculty extended query in guided project 5-1 that's steps 6c and 6f otherwise you might not be able to have your project graded i've seen this happen a couple of times now and that's why i included the note i know i've been repeating myself on this a couple of times already but whenever you're working with access you need to take your time and go through the steps okay i'm sure you figured out that access can be pretty unforgiving so be methodical with your projects and take your time all right so with that said have a good rest of your weekend and we'll talk again soon thanks for watching